So artists, um, art is basically a practice that requires an immense amount of time. Um, it, it's not something that would flourish in a very, in a very, um, let's say, in, in short bursts of bursts of, of free time. So I think the first thing that art needs is a lot of, a lot of time for people to think about and develop their practices. Mm, and for, in order for this to, to become a reality, there are basically five things that, that, that a, a functioning art system requires um, in order to f facilitate this. So the first thing is a, a very strong theoretical scene. So the, uh, this scene can be composed of a, in a variety of media. So it can be either an online or these can be very dense conversations that happen within artistic, artistic institutions and communities. So the general level of discourse has to be very high and very contemporary in regards to um, affairs that are happening in the world and thoughts that are being developed um, in other places and in, in relation to, to different, different um, geopolitical and other interests. So this is, this is probably the first thing that, 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 that is, um, that, that's vital for, for an art system. The second thing is strong, um, strong state or municipal institutions. So what, what, um, these institutions need to provide, uh, large, large, large scale support for developing, um, developing artworks. The, these institutions need to create, uh, let's say, mm, topics in order for our, our, uh, to include, to create these kind of little, little nuances between different artistic practices, to research them, to help them stage these practices in, 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 um, in galleries, in museums, in these facilities. So str a strong, s strong, well-maintained, um, uh, state and municipal institutions are are a requ a requirement. These institutions also, of course, have to carry their own collections that need to be researched by individuals and communities that have a um, more a less precarious um, relationship towards towards other elements. So these institutions need to be stable. They need to have a longevity. Need to have. Uh, um, enough human and other resources in order to function as well as possible. So this is the second pillar, let's say. The third thing is a art market. So, so what, 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 what's necessary are, are, um, are private galleries, private galleries that are able to, again, function and export works um, to give them labels to help these uh, these objects that are being created to to reach audiences beyond the scope of a, an institutional institutional environment um, this this is of course very important in order for so that artists themselves receive this uh, the support they need to sell works to have these works uh, circulate in uh, in um, in um, in outside of, of just the first two pillars. So the third function, the, the third necessity, uh, the fourth necessity for an art uh, for would be um, a well. Uh, you need you need of course collectors. Private uh, you need private collectors. You need people making collections. You need people thinking about how these things can be that are sold in the in the um, in the private galleries can be composed into larger orders um, you need an influx of capital uh, from from private hands so a, a state alone enterprise will not suffice it will develop an anomalies that I think are not in favor of uh, of of, of a good artistic community. So you will have basically, if you will not have this, sec this uh, private collectors, you will have basically a monopoly on one side. So you need 
a larger, larger, uh, larger dispersion of, of funds that are being that are being uh, funneled into visual, vi I mean, into art. And then the fifth should be the state. The state needs to have a very clear uh, relationship to, towards art. It needs to have um, it needs to have an established it needs to have established foundations in, and and other uh, other sources that will support. Uh, artists being exported from their countries. So, state in a, in a, the state needs to have, in a diplomatic sense, a relationship toward how art can also benefit their um, their access to, to to the world. How art can can um, can be included into policy making, into 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 using our ideas that are developed within these communities to better um, better understand what is going on in the world what is what what can what how how this um, this in immense treasure the immense cultural treasure that is being produced how it can um, be um, be understood as part of a uh, part of a state's power let's say so these are basically probably the five things that I would say are necessary <laughs>